Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's Friday on FIFA 21, and we don't have any loading screens, no leak, pack code, or anything about a new promo. What in the world is going to be our content today on Friday? I'm going to talk about that, some theories that we have, and general market expectations I have, whether we do get a promo or whether we do not get a promo. But we have Foot Player Days that is ending, right? And that's why we're like, okay, EA Sports, What's going on? You ended What If earlier this week. We've got Foot Player Days that ends, of course, today. No more lightning rounds, no more two-for-one packs, hopefully, unless EA is going to pull something crazy out. But there's a lot of theories right now on what could be coming because we literally have no information, no loading screen or anything. Now, I will say, even just earlier this week, we had no idea that Foot Player Days was going to start on Monday, and it started uh, with an hour's notice with a loading screen. So EA could do something today within an hour's notice of the content drop. Like that is within their power, of course. And we saw it happen this week. So of course that is fresh in our minds. That could happen again today on Friday as well. But let's talk about a couple things that are, you know, stirring around in the community about promo or uh, content ideas that could be today when it's not obvious what we're going to be getting. So the first thing is this is pack code that was added when Icon Swaps 2 was released earlier in February. And there's one pack in here that has not yet been added to the game. This pack is not available through Icon Swaps. And that has some people thinking that it might be released as content today. And that is the Icon Moments pack containing one Icon Moments player. Now we've had all these other packs that were in these two screenshots, right? 25 times 82, 25 times 81, the 91 plus prime pack, right? I think the mid prime or moments pack. Uh, and then of course the other common and silver upgrade packs, but we have not had this icon moments pack released yet. So a lot of people are honestly right now thinking that could be the content for today because usually when EA adds stuff to the code, we don't see it, it comes out pretty soon after it does get added. Now, of course, you're like, whoa, man, a prime icon moments SBC pack being available in FIFA. That seems a bit too early. We just had the mid or prime player pick. We haven't had a prime icon upgrade yet. Why would they skip right to the moments? Now, I, I'm not saying it's going to happen, but I'm saying EA needs something. They have to do something this weekend, right? If we have literally a non-tent Friday today, that would be unbelievable. I would not be expecting that whatsoever. EA has to throw together something at the very least for today on Friday, I think, especially with how this week has gone with the whole Icon Moments black market situation. EA is not being viewed in very good light right now. This would be an opportunity for them to put out some content that people would enjoy, interact with, and maybe forget about all that stuff that's going on for a little bit. So I feel like there's maybe a little bit of pressure on EA this weekend to drop some stuff. So obviously that is not that SBC is in the code, it can be dropped at any time. Now, maybe what is more realistic is some sort of like, I just clicked on foot champs instead of SBCs. Uh, what is more realistic is maybe some sort of other icon SBC, like a re-release of the middle prime pack, but making it cheaper or a prime icon upgrade, something like that may be a little bit more realistic than the guaranteed icon moments pack. But people are investing for this, right? If we take a look on the market, people are already investing in this, uh, this hearsay, I guess, right? There's no, you know, leak or anything like that. This stuff is going to be coming out, but you see the 86s have gone up a little bit after all the supply from marquee matchups yesterday on Thursday. The interesting area that I'm seeing though is 91 rated cards. O block is 96 K and people I think are buying this up because they're expecting some sort of icon pack today. Take a look at O block. He was 90, 9k this morning went down to about 87 and is up almost 10,000 coins right now because people are buying up these cards. A few people are probably doing like the Messi SBC and some of the new Icon Moments SBCs that came out yesterday with Balak, with um, Schmeichel and Rui Costa. But it looks like on the high tier fodder, people are starting to invest in this stuff because they think that that Icon Moments SBC is going to be coming out today. Now we have literally no like no leak. Nothing confirmed that says that SBC is coming. So if they drop something like that today, it would be crazy. I think that's just, I think it's a little bit too early for them to drop a guaranteed Icon Moments SBC. I feel like that's like team of the season related time frame. you know, in, in my honest opinion, I feel like that would be too early. Now, I do think it is very realistic that we could get some sort of Icon SBC today. If we're not getting a pack promo, 
I do think that EA would try to, uh, and especially seeing last week and the last couple weeks with that mid or prime player pack, mid or prime icon player pack, just how much people love icon player picks and how much people love icon upgrades in general. And I think that is something EA has noticed. And if they want to make the fodder market go up again, they could release another SBC just like that. And that would be content that would make people at least uh, pretty pumped, maybe for a day or so, depending on the price of that content. And if it's repeatable, if it's a player pick for sure, because people love the player picks this year, that's one of the biggest things of FIFA 21. Player pick upgrade packs, whether it's 81 pluses or icons, people go bananas for them. So uh, that is one thing that we could see today. One aspect of content I don't think we'll see, but icon SBC, I think is very possible, like an icon upgrade SBC, but like prime icon moments, not sure about that. Now, one other thing that I could see happening today is similar to what we saw during Black Friday and during, I think, FIFA 20 and FIFA 19. It happened both years at different points, but best of team of the week. Now, there was a couple times in FIFA 19, they did best of team of the week multiple times, and it almost every time it came out, it seemed to be like, okay, we're kind of in between promos right now. So EA said, whatever, we're going to just throw some of the best of team of the week cards in packs to make you guys try to want to open packs, put out lightning rounds to make it worth it for you guys to open packs and to do some of that. So of course, the best of team of the week was released already once this year. During Black Friday, we had like Kyle Walker's in form, Rashford, Renato Sanchez. I don't know if we had a Ronaldo in form. We might have, uh, but there was like, I think it was nine or 10 of the best team of the week cards were put back into packs. That would be something that I think they could do today because that's something that's very easy for them to do, right? They just code it. So they say, hey, boom, we're going to put these cards back into packs. Now, what would that do to the market? Well, if the, whatever... If there is things in packs today, there are a lot of people, including myself, that have saved up packs right now because why would I open packs when there's literally not much out in the game except for maybe if you're trying to craft Messi's Player of the Month, one of the new Icon Moments SBCs, it's really not worth it to open packs because there's nothing in packs, right? They have the Team of the Week in packs and Icon Moments, but <laughs> there's no promo cards that are in packs. So if there is something that enters packs today, whether it's Best of Team of the Week or if we get a surprise promo, then EA, or not EA, but people on FIFA are going to be spamming packs. There are a lot of saved up packs, especially from the SBCs we've had in the last couple of days. UEFA marquee matchups, regular marquee matchups, some of the daily SBCs that we have been getting, weekend league rewards. People have saved those packs because the what if cards have been out of packs now for a couple of days. That is going to be a lot of supply and a lot of packs will be ripped if there is something in packs today. So just like a promo Friday, like the first week of the what if promo where we saw those cards go crazy low, then rebound in the second or third hour. And then also during foot future stars during the first hour, those cards got crazy low, right? Remember you guys seeing like Reese James right back card at like 400,000 coins. He then went to like 650k or 700k, whatever it was later that night. That would be the similar type of movement I would expect if there is something in packs today and if it's good. If it's not very good, if there's only a few informs in packs, yeah, you might see some people open their packs along with there being lightning rounds potentially, but there might not be uh, as many packs open if it's not good. So that's kind of one thing to think about as well. And now that I think about it too, it almost seems like this weekend might be a weekend where EA doesn't drop lightning rounds. So they might not even drop anything in packs. So hopefully... You know, because we've had lightning rounds all week, right? If you're, if you're coming from EA's perspective, you've dropped the two-for-one packs all week long. Uh, you've dropped lightning rounds every single day since Monday. Um, and now we're here on Friday. Do they, Are they really going to drop lightning rounds again? I guess there's potential to if they wanted to run a promo. But as it looks right now, maybe we won't be. So that's kind of what I want to talk about here at the end too. Kind of going back to our Icon SBC kind of thought process is that if it's just SBC or objective related content today, what is that going to do to the market? If there's no promo packs that are being opened, maybe some people will open their saved up packs um, because they're trying to finish SBCs and stuff. But what I think you might see then is the market's obviously bounced back a lot from where it was earlier this week. Um, if there is any panic selling leading into 6 p.m., uh, content drop today, I'd be a bit surprised with no information, no new information, unless EA drops something on us right an hour before the content or earlier um, in the nighttime headed into Friday. 
I, I really don't expect a lot of crazy panic, right? I'm looking at a lot of these icon moments that I've been trading with and watching their prices fluctuate. It's been very fun. We've been making a lot of coins, right? Um, but the, for the rest of the market, a lot of stuff is trending on the up. Like if any of you guys invested in what if cards from team two, these guys are flying. Mertens was 620K. He was just over 900,000 coins. Ricardo Perea was 120. He's now 230. Regulon was like 110, 120 as well. He's now 195. Uh, these cards, Talvin was like 150, I think. Morales was 800K. Uh, these cards have absolutely flown out of packs because of the supply. They just got very cheap. And of course, there are some upgrades that are happening to them this weekend. So since the market is feeling healthy and kind of alive again, and a lot of stuff has bounced back, do I feel like the market's really going to shoot up on Friday if we don't get a lot of content and a lot of stuff's going to go even higher? Honestly, not really, because I feel like where we're at right now in this market, a lot of people have already bought cards. They've already bought stuff back. They've panic sold last week during the week. They panic sold their cards. They got their coins. Maybe they opened a couple lightning rounds, did the SBCs they wanted to do, and now they've bought back. A lot of this market is high now. It's kind of feeling healthy again. You'll still see fluctuations, right? You still see people trying out these new what if cards. Smalling was 615 last night after he got upgraded and he was kind of sold down two nights ago, actually. And now he's a 735. And Babu is going up as people are trying these cards as well. I don't really feel like the market's gonna explode later tonight on Friday if there is no promo and the content is not very good. Honestly, what I, what I feel like you will see is just people go out and play Weekend League or log off the game and prices will kind of stay where they're at. Some cards might go up a little bit. Some cards might get rare and it looks like they go up a lot, but it's just because they got really, really rare. Other than that, I honestly don't think you'll see many movements on the market except for maybe SBC fodder. If people are buying up these Oblox, these De Bruins, these Lewandowski's and nothing comes, you might see some people sell a little bit of those off and fodder to drop a little bit lower. Um, but speaking of SBC fodder at one point, if you have not looked at some of these 84s, now we, we look at like 86s, 87s, 88s, and we say, yeah, okay, Muller is 27,000 coins. Let's talk about SBC fodder for a second. This, this Muller is, is uh, 27,000 coins. Yes, he was 42K last week. Everybody right now is saying fodder is low. Fodder is not low. Fodder is back to normal. It was astronomically high last week when the Icon player pick was released. Now, Muller at 27K. I mean, this guy was at 27K before the Icon player pick. The week before that, he was 25K. So normal for 86 is, is like low to mid 20s. And we're getting back down to that normal price, right? High used to be over 30,000 coins for these 86s. They used to go from like 20 to 22K all the way up to like 30K. And that was like, uh, you know, a spike in price. But now everybody thinks that SBC fodder is going to go back to the point that it was when the Icon player pick was out. It's not going to get back to that point unless we have some sort of insane, huge SBC released again, like an Icon player pick that is going to require that much fodder and be that expensive. A lot of people probably just learned or just rinsed their entire clubs and they don't have the coins to do that anymore. So I don't even know if fodder would go that high if it was released, the same pack was released again. It might go up again, but probably not that high. So I just want to be careful. And that's just kind of my word of warning about SBC fodder right now, except for 84s. 84s are in a different ballpark because they didn't really fly that much in the past... Um, two weeks when the icon player pick was released check out aspilicueta 8.5k check this guy out he was at once 17 000 coins in february for a huge spike you know he's been over 12 000 coins and he's been consistently dropping off a couple spikes here and there but this guy is 8 000 coins he was actually like on 7.5k on bid 7.7k earlier today this is the kind of fodder that i would be interested in right now some of these 84s that are expensive that are needed for chemistry because this is the more quote unquote guaranteed profit because 84 rated squads 85 rated squads are like the most common in fifa and if we get some sort of sbc that a lot of people want to do whether it's an icon sbc a player sbc i feel like at, at this moment right now some of your 84s are some of like the safest bets the ones that link well you know sule is another good one this sule guy goes from like 10, 12,000 coins all the way up to like 20K, 23,000 23, coins at certain marks. March 1st when he was at 20,000 coins and now he's dipped off to being around 13. So 
if there's any place where I would say right now, I would say I like this investment for fodder, it would be 83s and 84s and some 85s too, but make sure you get the ones that have the really good links, the really good nationalities that move around the most. And if you wanna buy fodder and sit on it until an SBC comes, that's the kind of stuff that I would be looking at uh, since everybody else is focused on this really high rated stuff. Now I get there's a messy player of the month that is out. That stuff is gonna be, you're gonna be able to trade with the higher rated fodder, but everybody is investing in that right now for potential SBCs that they think could be coming. So that's my, I guess, not word of warning, but um, just maybe slight caution uh, into the wind would be just keep an eye out and watch out for maybe a little bit of overinvestment in some areas. Now, did I miss a deal on this Raul? 728, 729. That's nah, pretty cheap. Probably could have sold those, you know, in the 770s or 780s uh, on the right listing. So anyways, I'm trading with a lot of icons and special cards right now. I did lose some coins on Road to the Finals. I got this Rashford at 1.16, of course. When they scored the first goal, I didn't get it out quickly enough and now I'm losing some coins, but we've made it back with Owen, who I sold at 1.8, I bought at 1.62, I bought this at 999,000 coins, and I bought this at 110K, 110K for Jordi Alba. So the flips are rolling in, right? There's a lot of ways to make coins right now because this market is hot. But today on FIFA, we are really just curious about what kind of promo is gonna be coming, if anything is going to come. If at the most, I expect SBCs and maybe nothing in packs, but I'm, I'm down for EA to surprise us. If they got something up their sleeve, EA Sports, I am down. Surprise us with whatever content it's gonna be today. But I'm not getting my hopes up just yet. We'll see what it is. We'll be live on Twitch, link down below in the description when the content drops today on Friday if you wanna check us out there when it does come out. But those are my thoughts on what could be coming today, either Prime Moments SBC or just an Icon SBC in general, and then like a best of team of the week slash re-release of special cards and packs. I think that is possible as well. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.